Yo, what is up, Squirtle Shader crew? This is JD Zero bringing you a theory video again. It's about the sun and moon. Basically, it's about being 20 years later. It's, it's basically saying about the whole game being 20 years later. Now, you're wondering why? It's because of these two characters here being in sun and moon. A little bit mature look looks like a little bit older and the fact that they were reminiscing about the past when you look at the trailer first and then makes it seem like okay they could be in their 30s so far it feels like it's 20 years ahead of time at least because since the since the the main antagonist here is probably either 10 years old as well it seems like the whole theory between the uh, being the mother of this the Titanist now could be Shauna from from X and Y 20 years behind with the uh, main character from that X and Y as well so if that could be the case, it is, you could say this game is taking 20 years after doing the whole fact of since it is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon and Sun and Moon. Or I mean, well the 20 years anniversary of Pokemon it is basically saying that with this particular game that's coming out now during the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, the game is based on the 20 years afterwards. So, that's basically relating to the whole theory about these guys here that are a little bit older, a little bit mature about it because, like I said, they're reminiscing about their past. They look taller, they look way mature than what they did from X and Y series. Even though the sprites are a little bit better, it made them a little bit taller. Now, if it wasn't like that, they would look the same height as the Natanus and Sun and Moon. Still, but they look taller. So if they look taller, they look like they're a little bit mature. It puts it into perspective being that the fact that they're 20 years older than the Natanus. They could be in their 30s. But there you go. It's that's the theory. That's what we need to understand that this game is literally 20 years ahead of its time from X and Y, even though the game is the the even though we're getting the game three years later, it still makes the game feel like, whoa, is the game is based off. 20 years later instead of being you know 10 years later or based on something else and not being having to do with that situation but like I said the credibility being is the fact that you have these two assistants and the main Natanus mother being a little bit in their 30s looking and that just assume like whoa they could be the x and y characters they could be 30 years old it could say that we could go back to x and y later on in the series because of that particular situation that we have here since we do have mega resolution in the game since we have that and since these characters have the same name as the characters in X and Y that's assuming that it's 20 years later the main character mother is uh you know her and then they're like okay well then that's the only reason why we have this this is the reason why we're gonna do we're gonna go back to the game the game is gonna look a little bit different from like how black and white 2 
the game was a little bit later on into the future, but it's, it literally makes it seem like in that particular setting as well is the fact that it was 20 years later from that day and black and white too. So it's basically saying like all based on those particular continuous games, it's saying Sun and Moon is part two to X and Y. Here's that thing there. We have a part two X and Y and that's considered Sun and Moon. So that's my theory. I think I'm like the first one to come up with that particular theory. I haven't seen anybody else did it. I heard, I mean, I seen a theory about uh, Shauna being the protagonist's mother because of all the little things that made it seem like that. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure I'm the first one to realizing this whole game being 20 years afterwards because of the same thing with Black and White where they made Black and White 2 being 20 years later into the series where you have Sharon, uh, Bianca being a little bit older than the antagonist now and Black and White 2 the same way they did with the assistants for Sun and Moon and being the mother of the antagonist being 20 years older literally stating that we're gonna go back to X and Y but you're basically the main antagonist character son and it's just 20 years later on so it's just like it's just like mind-boggling that that's what's going down that's what's about to happen and it's crazy it's it's just super crazy and i respect that honestly it makes it seem like that's what they were trying to do with black and white too let's make that a 20th anniversary for that game as well if you think about it so I don't think they're gonna do a redo of Black and White either, even though they should do a remake of Black and White, but it's it's not gonna happen. So if you enjoyed this theory, let me know in the comments down below. Skull bash that like button, pitch the square to say he's on stay awesome guys. Bye.